Kathleen with Northwest Canine Coalition. Today is the first day when we have our adoptable dogs from our partner rescues making their debut on the red carpet. And our host today is Steve Bunin. You know him from King Five with his daughter Gabriella. And with us today is Mo Verley. He's from our partner rescue, Red Wagon Rescue. And Gabriella, why don't you tell us about Mo Verley? Oh, this is Moberly from the Red Wagon Rescue. <laughs> He's super affectionate and lovable. That's for sure. <laughs> He's a handsome German Shepherd who's about two years old and weighs around 60 pounds. He's great energy inside the house and is happy to lay around resting at your feet. He's smart as a whip, learns quickly, and would love to have mentally stimulating activities like <laughs> nose work or puzzle toys. As you can see right now, the nose work is really yeah. <laughs> He absolutely adores people and would love a home where someone is there a lot of the time for him. If there are children, they should be around 12 years old or older. Why? Uh, just because he's a pretty big dog. Yeah. He's a strong pup too. Yeah. <laughs> and he would be he would be great for a person or family who has experience with a German Shepherd and understands their personality. So Kathleen, what do you think is a big key? If you've never had a German Shepherd, what should you know? Well, they need a job to do. They need something that's going to keep them busy because if you don't keep them busy, they will keep themselves busy, which means your shoes, your clothes, digging holes in your yard for you, maybe, you know, kinds of things like that. So you want to make sure that they maybe have some treat puzzles, um, some nose work, maybe search and rescue type work would be amazing for a dog like a German Shepherd. Um, they just like to use their mind. They're very smart. They're very highly trainable. And Moberly loves his treats, so it makes training easy. Yeah, no question. So if Moberly seems like a great dog for you, then go to our website, nwk9coalition.org. nwk9coalition.org. And look for this face, because how can you not have a face like this? <laughs> and while you're there, donate. don't forget, yeah, visit donate. the donate button, because your funds are what's going to help us to produce more videos like these. Steve. And we've had we, such good success with these videos on uh, King 5. Every single dog that we've profiled on King 5 has been adopted out. We often uh, get more feedback on this segment than almost any other that we do. And, and it's just such a, a, a great privilege for us to be a part of it. And it's a great opportunity for these dogs and for you to help them find their forever home. Yes, thank you. So yeah, look for Canine Rescue of the Week each week. Click on that donate button and uh, thank you both for, for joining us today. And Moberly on the red Good carpet. Job, Yay! Good, Good job, boy. Moberly. Do you need some more Good treats, boy. Gabriella? Oh. There you go. Yeah, see it? Good. Oh, good boy. This is Kaya, who we met through the Washington Alaskan Malamute Adoption League, also known as Wama. They say it right, Wama. Mm -hmm. And this, by the way, is my lovely wife, Dr. Viviani Bunin. Wave hi, Viviani. Hi. You are five years old. A big dog. She's 90, 93 pounds, and she is looking for a home where you have experience with Malamutes. Because even in our family, we have a lot of experience with Huskies and Malamutes. And she's, you know, she, she needs someone who knows exactly what they're doing. My wife certainly does. She is believed to have had a previous owner who might have been abusive. So she's very cautious about people coming into her home. She's great with people, but it might take a little bit of time to warm up. And if there's a lot of people in the house, that might not be the absolute best thing. But the volunteer who met her in a park was able to easily walk <laughs> Kaya. Viviani was able to walk Kaya within two seconds. You can see how submissive Kaya is being to Viviani right now. Very food oriented, which is good because it makes it a little easier to train. She'd be picky though with her dog friends. So we think she's best as the only dog in your house. She's also, like a lot of our Huskies, have been a known food thief. Super smart, Huskies and Malamutes. She has been known to open microwaves and even toaster ovens. She's a smart But, you know, even despite all of this, she is so, so beautiful. And you can see the coach. She's just gonna be an awesome dog for a perfect family. Only five years old. She has a lot, she has a lot of opportunity to go on adventures and uh, be somebody's forever home, right? What would you say about Kaya Viviano? What else I have to say? She's not just, she's adorable. <laughs> Just take her home. So if you want to do that, go to our website, nwk9coalition.org. That's nwk9coalition.org. And when you go, make sure to click on the donate button so that we can keep producing these kind of videos like these and the ones we have on King 5 every week. We hope that some of you will be interested, you'll donate, and one of you is going to have Kaya before too long. Hey, Steve Bunin with you once again from King 5, and we are so excited to bring on our last dog on the red carpet here, and the handler, I'm a little bit biased, but 
one of my favorite handlers of all time. This is my daughter, Gabriella Bunin, with Poppy, who comes to us from Hello Kitty. <laughs> the the now, is, uh, Poppy has a really, really, it's kind of a sad backstory. She was abandoned by her previous owner and uh, rescued in the desert. Can you imagine anyone who let this dog go like that? But the Good Samaritan who did rescue Poppy lives in an RV and wants to help give her a forever home. And Gabriella, even in the short time you've been bonding with her before we came on the red carpet, how would you describe Poppy's personality? She's super loving and cuddly. Cuddly? Cuddly. Yeah. yeah. Loving, cuddly. She's very sweet. You see, she's loving. great with kids and adults alike. She's pretty energy so this is not necessarily a dog where you have to be doing 16 jogs a day which sometimes you do she doesn't jump she walks really well on a leash uh, it might be best to have her as the only animal in your house just because of her background we want to make sure it's a super great fit but you can see how loving she is she's a good listener she walks really well with our daughter who's only 11. if poppy seems like she would be a great fit for your family please visit our website nwk9coalition.org and maybe she can be your forever dog and as we've been saying too even if you can't adopt her you just want to help the uh, cause you can just click on that donate button and uh, that really helps make these adoptions possible even if you're not up for adopting a dog there's a lot of ways that you can help the northwest canine coalition continue to shine lights on these dogs and give them their forever home so whatever your comfortability level is even if it's just a hundred dollars that'll provide the treats the harnesses and the leashes for four dogs. So just as a starting, if you want to hit donate and do $100, you're going to start to help out. At $250, if you're able to donate at that level, that'll shine the Northwest Canine Coalition spotlight on a single dog in need of a home. That takes care of the effort to get the dog from them to the King Five in the studios to eventually someone's home. $500 will get them some one-on-one -on -one training, the dog, not the humans. <laughs> uh, but for $500, that can be the impact that you're making. Because a lot of these dogs that are rescued need a little bit of uh, education, you might want to call it, and training. And you can do that with $500. So we're asking you to donate that if you can. If you want to even up it a little bit more for $750, it'll provide veterinarian care to some of the dogs who might be struggling with the pre-adoption help process. Right? Some dogs that you find are ready to go, and some just aren't. They are going to need shots. And that's, that's all cost money. You can make a difference for $750. For $1,000, we'd be thrilled if you're able, and you can help us with $1,000. It'll allow the Northwest Canine Coalition to shine the spotlight and showcase and place four dogs into loving homes in a single month, especially with our ability on King 5 to show them and broadcast them to all of Western Washington. For $1,000, Think about the impact you can have on four families and four dogs for $1,000. We really hope you can reach into your pockets and make a difference for us. And then you can just keep extrapolating the money. But another thing that they do at Northwest Canine Coalition is transport dogs that are from overcrowded shelters out of state or perhaps even uh, kill shelters. We want to bring dogs here and get them to safety. So for $2,500, you could transport up to uh, 10 or 15 dogs even from out of state. And if you're able to get $5,000, that'll be the equivalent of transporting 30 dogs from out of state. These overcrowded shelters where they may have a really bad ending, they can come to the Northwest and have a great, great ending. And it'll be thanks to you. And just keep thinking about however much you're able to donate, that's how many dogs and families you're able to help. So please go to our website, nwk9coalition.org and click on donate now. And now we want to bring in, again, Viviani, my wife, who is one of our handlers today, and Kathleen, who makes the whole thing happen. Well, Kathleen, we're just so honored you had us as a part of the program. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, the honor is, is all, you know, on our, I'm so thrilled to have you as our guest to kind of refer, return that favor. <laughs> Um, dogs on the red carpet, you saw three of them here from our partner, Rescues. They all need homes. Steve, I know maybe you probably shouldn't adopt any more dogs. <laughs> I probably shouldn't either, but these dogs do need homes. So. I will say, before we came on the red carpet, I gave a speech to my two girls. I said, as cute as these dogs are, we are not adopting <laughs> them. We have two Huskies already. That's more than enough for our family. Yeah, but you know what? My husband said, no, we're stopping at two dogs. And guess what? We have a third. <laughs> so there's always hope. Oh. <laughs> there's always hope. So if you're interested in adopting these dogs, go to our website, NWK coalition.org while you're there click on that donate button help us out to bring more dogs uh, to loving homes yeah. and produce these videos thank you so much for joining us our adoptable dogs on the red carpet steve viviani gabriella and poppy, oh, poppy. thank you thank you, thank you. <laughs>